guys. Today, I want to talk with you about helium, which is a pretty, pretty cool thing. It's been around for quite some time. I started looking at this a few months back, and it's grown substantially since then. It's basically a wireless network specifically for providing IoT coverage. Now, they are, are looking at going to 5G as well. That's in the works and not really developed. I, I watched a video of the CEO, Frank Mong, who was uh, providing information on that. But in any event, let's talk with the IoT stuff, which is what they're doing today. So this is a, this is a network of nodes hosted by people in their homes or businesses that provide coverage for IoT devices using the LoRaWAN technology, which is basically a long range, wide area network, low frequency wireless coverage. People have an opportunity to be part of this network and actually earn the token that is associated with this, the cryptocurrency token, which is HNT, which is right now trading at about $18 or close to $19 a coin. Now, some of this can be pretty lucrative for people if they're in the right spot, but there's a lot to know and it's not just plug and play. It's not just buy a node and put it up in your house and you're gonna instantly start to make thousands of dollars. It's not like that. So you may see videos like that on YouTube. It takes some investigation to make sure that you're in the right place. You may or may not. And I'm gonna show you the resources you need to figure that out. So first, let's talk about the Helium Network. It is up to almost 32,000 hotspots around the world, 31.5, and they are all over the world. Let's talk about specifically what it does. So again, it provides coverage. Let's say you're in an area like Baltimore and you've got a node in Baltimore, you're providing coverage for IoT devices, thermostats maybe, or telemetry devices that are bringing back billing information for like electric or water, you know, utilities, that sort of thing. Farming equipment has a lot of IoT trucks that are communicating with home offices, trains, all sorts of things known as IoT devices or Internet of Things. And these are small devices that send small packets of information and it needs to get back to their home data centers. The Helium network is what provides that network for that information to get back to where it needs to go. For example, if it's an electric company and they may have sensors on their power meters that is communicating using LoRaWAN, it could ride over the Helium network, right? And the Helium network is has a blockchain component that pays the people that are hosting nodes in a coin called HNT, as I mentioned before, which is again, trading at close to $19 a coin. So let's talk about mining it, okay? So basically there's multiple devices and we'll get into that, but I wanna talk with you about how you earn HNT. So there's three ways, right? Is It's proof of coverage, which means just for having a node up, you're gonna earn a certain amount of HNT. And then relaying device data, which means if there's devices in your area, you're transferring data, that's actually pretty lucrative. And then consensus, so if you're validating other nodes in the area, you, you earn for that. And there's a percentage breakdown of what that is. So you get uh, one, like almost 1% 1 for a challenger, just basically saying that someone else in the network, maybe in a different area coverage, just sends a, a, a proof of coverage validation to your node. Okay. So you get a little bit for that proof of coverage, just for having a hotspot up, you're going to get 5.3%. Witnessing, which means you're witnessing other nodes in your area. Okay, so let's say here to here, right? You're going to earn 21%. And then data transfer, it's the most. If you've got an IoT device in your network that's transferring data and it's going through your node, you're earning 32.5%. So the real earning comes is when you're transferring data and when you're witnessing other nodes. So, I mean, you're talking about 53%, 50, almost 54% of your HNT rewards are going to be either witnessing or data. It's really important to have a plan when you buy one of these. Just don't go out and buy one if you in, if you live in a rural area and stick it in. If you do that and there's no other nodes, you're going to get like maybe Challenger and proof of coverage, which is very little coin. So you have to remember too, this is based on a token. So the value of what you're earning is based upon the value of that token. Now, let's take a look at the price history of HNT. So here's HNT starting back in August of 2020. Okay, you can see it started at $1.46 and now we're at 18. That's a huge rise, right? And this is all, this is when they were, had, you know, very few nodes. And now beginning of this year, the last, uh, you know, five months, this has really been starting to take off. You're going to see people on YouTube talking about it. And it's starting, like I said, it's now at 31,000 nodes around the world. 
Now we can actually take a look at these nodes by going to right here, view network map. So we can go into the network map, okay? And let's choose a place. We're going to use Philadelphia as an example in this discussion. So let's go zoom in here. Now all these green dots are nodes, all right? You see 31,500 nodes. So let's go into Philadelphia. You can see there's a lot of nodes in the Philadelphia area. Now there's some guidelines on node placement like you have to be at least i think it's 350 meters away from the other from the next node next to you if you're any closer than that it'll be invalid but let's for example we're now we're in the center of philadelphia here right so let's take a look for example you see a lot of green and you see some reds and the, these reds maybe are usually offline but let's just take for example this guy right here okay we're just going to click on him and these have funny names i think these names are actually assigned by helium itself so we can actually view the information about this hotspot and you can see this node's got all all these yellows are valid hotspots that are hitting it this this node okay so that's all validation okay of nodes next to them and i'm not sure we'll, we'll see we can actually see what the rewards are but if we take a look at the rewards for this node he's earning about three three and a half hnt a day 129 a month so we take the calculator out here so we're talking about it's so 18 times 129, $2,300 a month. That's at the current price. Now, this is a great area here, and this person's hotspot is in the right spot, okay? You can see that there's a tremendous potential for earning passive income by having one of these nodes uh, installed in your in your area. Now, but it depends, right? Let's take a let's take a rural area like this guy right this person right here, okay? He's got really nothing around him. So let's take a look at this guy, okay? And you can see 0.12 in the last 24 hours, three in the month. You're going to spend four or $500 on these uh, nodes, which is about what they cost. And we'll talk about that in a second. So this is an area where, you know, this person is waiting patiently for someone to put a node in. That may or may not happen. Let's take this area here. So these, this is a more rural area, but these two... Are closer together so let's just take a look so this guy right here right let's see how he's doing a little bit better okay not great a little bit better okay and then if we take these two here these two are pretty close to each other all right so this one's doing much better you could see almost 200 a month which is considerable amount right so again it's very important where you place a node what i'm trying to tell you is you don't want to just go out buy one of these things without doing the research to figure out and determine whether it makes sense to put a node in your area okay there's some great tools for that and what i highly recommend and i'll put a link in the description is watching this video by this guy investor bren and investor bren it's a 15 minute video which i highly recommend this guy goes into all the information you need to know about the proper placement of a helium node. I'm not going to repeat it. This guy's already done it. You could check it out. And he goes into this website called SiteBot slash Helium, where you can actually list out the nodes in your network. There's actually a search tool here, or I should say list out the nodes in your area. And you can we can actually see here, like, let's, for example, we can go down the list here, and you can see this person here. This person's earned 17,000 HNT in the, in, in, so far this year, year to date. They're earning 400 a month, 14 a day. This person's got a hot spot in the right area. And then you take, for example, someone right here, agreeable coral pentagon, okay? And this person is not in a very good area. Or maybe they're just, they just came online. So this person's only earning, what is it, two, two a day? Not bad, you know, 40 bucks a day or $36 a day, but still it's nowhere near what you're looking for when you buy one of these. Because you got you have to look at the payoff of what this device is going to cost you. And we'll talk about the devices in a second. All right, so this is one site that this guy talks about. The other one is Helium Place, and this is actually really good, helium.place. So here you can actually click on an area, and let's go to Philadelphia. We can click on this, okay, and it shows you this hexagon okay and what it's basically telling you is it's telling you inside this square right here this little area right here you don't want to be in there because it's too close to a node you want to be in this green area far enough away from nodes where you're not penalized for being too close to a node because what 
What the Helium Network is looking for is nodes spread out to provide the best coverage, right? So they're they're really looking for proper placement. And here you can actually click on each of these nodes in this area and you can you can get some great information from this site to help you figure out if it's if your area is the right area for a node. All right, so you want to check this one out. And he's got all these websites linked in his video, okay? And then the third one he talks about is this Hotspot RF, and this will actually tell you if you've got the right line of sight between where you are and where the, the next node might be in the network. So good information to understand how to determine where to place a node, all right? So the last thing I want to talk about is how to get a node. So basically, we've got devices you can look at. I'm going to urge you to look at the technology of each one of them. I would go to Helium's website and use these links because I understand there's a lot of scams. You got to be really careful. Use these links. Make sure you're on the right manufacturer's site. I was actually looking at the Bobcat Miner. Okay. Well, you can see the Bobcat Miner. It's got an external antenna that you can place. I think it's actually got a magnet or suction cup on it because you want to have this thing near a window, right? So it has uh, the best line of sight possible. But this was, looks like a pretty cool one. I was thinking about getting this one. If I decide, because area where I live is pretty rural, and it may not make any sense, right? But I was also thinking about maybe talking to some businesses in the area about placing one of these in their business, right? Which are along like a major thoroughfare or something like that. Now, now the back orders are quite long on these. This one in particular, 429 let's say for the U.S. one, $429, okay? And they're talking about estimates. It's after 5-1. We're at today's 5-4. So we're talking about 12 to 20 weeks, okay, for this particular. Now, each one of these, there's back orders on every one of these because everyone's trying to get in on this, all right? That's what it's going to take for you to, to, you know, to get your hands on one of these. You're going to have to order it and wait. I would recommend taking a look at this. The ones I've kind of narrowed down to are either this one, the Bobcat, or the Rack, okay? But look at the features of both. Do your due diligence and... Make, do your research, as they say, and make sure you, you, you understand exactly what you're buying. My understanding is this one may be easier to configure than this one because there is a configuration process you have to go through to bring this node up. Read about that so you understand exactly what you're getting into. It's not plug and play. You have to understand how to set this thing up, all right? So make sure you take a look at that. Now, the other alternative, which I highly don't recommend, is buying one on eBay. There's a lot of scammers on here. You can see, for example, here's a person selling a Helium Arc, a Rack uh, version 2 miner pre-order. So he's not, they don't have it in hand. It's a pre-order. So basically, they're in the list for a pre-order, and they want to sell you a $400 node for $2,400. Okay? Insane. Now, you may find a, someone on here that actually has one in hand. Be very, very, very careful because a lot of these people don't have them in hand. But I recommend, if you're going to do it, wait in line, go to, uh, you know, order one from the manufacturer, and, and uh, you're going to get the latest versions and, and stuff like that. So that's basically helium. It's pretty cool. You know, honestly, I live in a little rural area. If my home was closer to nodes, it's not very close to nodes. Like the closest one for me, it's going to be like about five miles away, which is way out of reach. I think you need to be like within like one or one and a half kilometers. Now, you can get external antennas to increase your range. There's a lot of stuff you can do with this. I would recommend doing your research on this, right? In any event, I hope this gives you a path to follow to do your research on this. This this project seems to really have legs. And I, as I mentioned, 31,000 devices, 31,500 devices. When I started looking at this, there was about 18 thousand devices and that was about three months ago so this thing is really really expanding and watching the interview from the ceo they're talking about hundreds of thousands of these all over the world hope this was helpful to give you the information you need to do the research and make the right decision on whether this is for you or not hit that like button if you like what you saw if you have any comments or suggestions put those in the comments and have a great day guys thanks for watching